All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. The name of the video is how to take part in the buy nothing movement. Um, probably by buying nothing. <laughs> Either way. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this immediately. One of my favorite money saving tips is to find a buy nothing group. A buy Call nothing it the group. summer of frugal with inflation still sitting above 3%. Americans are turning to buy nothing groups on Facebook to meet their needs without spending a penny. Okay. Buying a whole patio. All right, so a whole bunch of like like people that like bartering. That's what I'm hearing. If that's the case, then yeah, why not? Right? You have something or a service, uh, but you also need something or a service. You just barter. I mean, listen, I think that the world should be doing that anyway. Uh, specifically in these times, well, these times are crazy. If you have the ability to barter for something, do it. I like that idea. Let's continue. Still sitting above 3%. Americans are turning to buy nothing groups on Facebook to meet their needs without spending a penny. Buying a whole patio set is is costly these days, and we were able to just get one from someone who was just giving it away. Jennifer Schluning is a member of a buy nothing group in Cranford, New Jersey. We toured her backyard. Ooh. This is a whole Jersey. Sorry, uh, let's let's whole to garden you have going, which is made up entirely of items she received for free. We have spinach, tomatoes, basil, yeah, mints. That looks amazing. These are really healthy courtesy of her community. What would you say to someone That's who's cool. interested in joining a group like this? I would say, you know, if you need something, you might as well just ask for it. You never know who is around, who's willing right. to give you something. Right. But I mean, closed mouths generally don't get fed, right? Jennifer doesn't just receive, she gives too, and showed us how these groups work. So you're giving away this vase, these little flowers, and this picture frame. Yes. And all you do is you basically just Take a quick pic mm -hmm. okay. of the items that you want to post and say that you're giving it and hit post. And then you just see who wants to come and get your items. So Vicky just left and someone responded to my post. So now I'm going to put it on my porch for them to come and pick up. There are more than 8,000 buy nothing groups worldwide on Facebook with 10 million neighbors who've joined. In the group's members post items up for grabs. Everything from soon to be expired bread. What? Nah, I, I mean, I'm. Sh oh, I don't like the, I don't like the food aspect of it. I, I'm not really in fan of that, there, guys. But I mean, I guess if someone is in desperate need for it, you know, go for it, right? But I just wouldn't personally say that that's that the food aspect is a great idea. Everything else, sure, why not? Listen, do your thing. In the group's members, post items up for grabs. Everything from soon to be expired bread to jewelry, baby toys, and used furniture. It's all part of a movement to reduce waste and use what's already in our homes and backyards. I want to okay. show you guys something beautiful that I found today. She is a 1976 Kenmore machine, and I got her for zero dollars. How do you know she's a she? Think of us as a, a department store before you go. Call it like an it or something. That's crazy. Got her for zero dollars. Think of us as a, a department store before you go out and actually go to buy that. Lisa Clark is the co-founder of the Buy Nothing Project. She helps communities create these social media pages. And the project launched an app for those not on social media. Okay. There is someone in your community that could use exactly what it is that you may no longer need. It's right. not just about saving money and reducing waste. The group is also a place neighbors turn to when they need help. Okay. Honey goes, help, help. Mom of two, Lauren Jebwin, ran out of a specialized formula for her daughter. So she posted in the Cranford Buy Nothing group. Not just one person responded, like multiple people respond. And that I think is the most amazing thing. Like the generosity is just, it doesn't end. There's no judgment. There's no like, oh my goodness, you don't have formula. It was here, I have it for you. What started as- And you gave that, okay, so you entered into a group online where you know nobody and you ask for baby formula, something specifically that you were going to give to a baby. And you, tr you have that much, much trust in humanity. Maybe I'm jaded. Is there something wrong with me? Am I broken? <laughs> There's something, guys. Because I don't. I'm not sure, right? I am. I'm honestly not sure that I would do that specifically to the kid, right? Hmm. Like, what if you meet someone with like nefarious purposes? Yeah, I can do it. I'm. I have nefarious, per, you know, purposes and, and a super rich backstory. I'm gonna do something terrible today. All right, I don't, I don't know. 
The food is, is too much for me personally, guys. As a social experiment has led to successful connections, friendships, and stronger communities. This is mutual aid. We are taking care of each other by sharing the things that we might not no longer need, but it will make a world of difference to a nearby family. And saving money and the environment at the same time. There you go. That's it. Okay. And it's a great way to build community, but of course we want to think about safety too. So if you are picking up an item from someone you don't know yet, always make sure someone knows where you're going. Try to bring along a buddy. And if you are offering something, the advice here is to leave it outside your home at a specific time. Don't be there. If you don't want to leave it in front of your house, you can always meet in a public area. But this is about building community. Yeah. And usually people are doing this on Facebook, so there's a profile you can go and look at whoever right. this person is that's coming to your house or that you know you want to go get this from, and that's the idea behind it. This has created buzz. Oh, it's yeah. I did a crosstalk with Dallas and I brought yes. up the story and, and Deborah, the anchor, yeah. goes, oh, my sister does that all exactly. the time. It's happening here in the studio. Yeah. I feel Absolutely. like it's something that it's people so are good. aware of that we're just learning about. People are mm. furnishing their entire homes, their kitchens, getting things for their babies. You do want to make sure the items aren't recalled and that kind of yeah. thing. And there's some sure. etiquette. Don't put something out that's broken or not yeah. usable. Sure. But think about all the stuff that we have need. that's You've great that we don't need. Right. Yeah. Kids Pack stuff, play, sports stuff. So much stuff. Yeah, lacrosse stick. Okay. Exactly. I love the fact that it's also hyper local. You don't actually have to ship anything? No, not no at all. No ship any, yeah. anything to you? You can set a parameter, like within one mile of my community, mm -hmm. and that's who you get to know, that's and that's where you go. Smart. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Put it in front of your house, just put it in front of your neighbor's house. Exactly. Yes. That's another, yeah, on the corner. <laughs> yeah, so they're like, yeah, sure. Exactly. And we can it's watch it, but they don't know where you house. live. Wait, bro, hold on. Who is this? Is this the guy that was on MTV in the early 2000s? I think so. Uh, what's this guy's name? I forgot this man's name. Like TRL or something, something like that, potentially. Either way. Right? Uh, Vicky. <laughs> you're so weird. Vicky, thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Roker. This, this, is, this is your tie, and that's my pocket square. This, you, that is Mr. Roker. Roker. I buy nothing. nothing. We trade it. That's so confusing. That is true. Look at that. Like, like Al Roker? No, that's not him, is it? Did he lose like a like an absurd amount of... Guys, I, I'm so, I don't watch the news, bro. I'm sorry. I, I am completely not... I don't live in reality, I don't think, guys. All right. This man lost a lot of weight, if that's the guy who I'm thinking of. Uh, Al Roker, weather guy, if that's him. <laughs> Look at that's, that. uh, that's it. Exactly. Uh, that's right. I'm wearing Craig's realize, pants. Right now. I didn't realize you were going to recognize it because I've had it for so long. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. Maybe. To watch, Head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here. All right. So, OK, so in terms of oh, like the, what this is here, I like the concept of trading things, specifically if you no longer need something and it's, it's sitting in your garage, just catching, you know, getting dust. And literally, there's another person across the street who could possibly use it. I like the idea of helping your neighbor out. Absolutely. Right? When it comes to the food, though, I'm going to go ahead and say no to the food um, like 100 percent of the time. I'm sorry. Um, it, if it goes inside of your body and you're getting it online and that's just too much for me personally. But all the other things make all the sense in the world, guys. Seriously. Right? But all right, listen. Uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out. <laughs>